Good Saturday morning, y'all. I know I'm a little late. It's taken me a while to get to feeling good. I woke up not feeling so good this morning. We are at 55,000 subscribers. And uh, I'm going to do the Saturday thing giveaway. And I'm going to give away, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give away one knife for the next, well, today and then two more times. Uh, during my Saturday things. I was going to do a live stream, but uh, I'm not sure how good I'm going to feel today. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is, let's do my Saturday thing. Saturday thing 93. What did I do? There we go. I moved it. Okay, 90 comments. Herdman. Herdman. Contact me at bctruck at gmail.com with a link for something you'd like on Amazon for 35 bucks or less. Now, let's see here. Now here's how I'm gonna give I'm gonna give one knife away every Saturday thing until these knives are gone. So let's let's just pick a uh, video. Uh, let's see. Here I'll pick this right here. So let me refresh this. There are 44 comments, so uh, it's going to be easy for somebody to win. Easy. And bear for freedom. And bear, I'm giving this, I'm giving them away in order. So, and you won this right here. So let me just say thank you to everybody for subscribing. And uh, it's been a... Fun and exciting 55,000 subscriber since 2006 is when I first started my channel. And uh, some, some of y'all have been with me that long. So, uh, man, you're family. Well, anyway, thanks. I'm going to drink some coffee and do a breathing treatment and try to get to feeling a little better. So, uh... I'm going to put a whole bunch of link, not links, uh, clips in that I've shot that I never did upload. So uh, thanks again, everybody. And uh, Herdman, contact me. And Ann, you don't even need to contact me. I, I already have your address. I'll send this to you. See you, see you soon. Well, I never did show you my outdoor project yesterday. Yeah, I built this little rack here just to keep my lumber up off the ground. And uh, let me show you my spalted Osage orange. And you know what? I think this is dry enough to cut. What I need to do is find somebody who has a small sawmill, bandsaw, you know, that can cut this into slabs for me so I can have a good look at it. I've got three more pieces of this in that little shed over there. And, uh... Yeah, these are definitely dry enough to to cut. So that'll be a one of these one of these days I'll find somebody with a saw that'll cut into these for me for you know, not not a whole lot. All right. Me my right-hand man my cup of coffee. We're all sitting here thinking. I'm I'm going to drink my coffee and put the edge on these. This is Friday. <clears throat> I won't be done. Oh, hold on. It picks up my pocket floor and it fell. I, uh, I won't be done with these in time to ship them out today, Friday, but I will ship these out Monday morning. So here's what we're thinking. My Facebook page, I have, uh, 
changed the name over to BC Blades. And uh, pretty much all I'm going to put on that Facebook page is knife-related stuff. And uh, I'm friends with a lot of people, and, and some people post stuff on my page, which is fine. But I'm trying to get away from political stuff uh, because I don't want my channel. It's not a personal page anymore. I, I mean, mostly. It's mostly where I'm going to post pictures of my knives and uh, what they're made out of, the, the wood that I used, the pins that I used, the color that I used to dye the sheath, just that kind of stuff. I don't have a website for my knives, and uh, Facebook is the next best thing until, you know, someday when I'm rich and famous, I'll have a website. So, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, since it appears, and you'll probably figure that out by now, that knives are going to be pretty much all I'm going to do from now on for many, many reasons. Uh, number one, I can do it sitting and I won't go into any lengthy reasons but I have a hard time standing for long periods I have a very hard time walking more than you know 50 60 feet a lot of reasons I'm just not going to go into it. it doesn't matter anymore I wake up every day and uh, I'm glad to be alive and I deal with whatever that day brings me and I've had a good and happy life and I'm going to continue to have a good and happy life no matter what complications arise. <laughs> so I'm thinking because my channel is now mainly blades, knife making, alterations to my shop, tools I'm going to get, I'm thinking of changing my BC Truck YouTube channel to BC Blades. It kind of scares me because uh, the only mad money, the only money I get that is not 100% accounted for and already spent before I get it is the Google check that I get. And uh, I don't want to alienate anybody who subscribed to BC Truck because they wanted to see chainsaw fixing videos or, or uh, wood gas stove making videos or prepping videos or chicken videos. Pretty much those days are behind me, and again, for a lot of reasons, and pretty much knife making is what I'm going to focus my life on and around. I love making knives, and it's something I can do that doesn't hurt. <laughs> and uh, so, I'm really giving some consideration to changing my YouTube channel to BC Blades, my only fear is, number one, it'll alienate people that subscribe to BC Truck because they wanted other videos. And number two, uh, I don't want to rock the boat of uh, my Google, my AdSense check. You know, I desperately need that check. Not desperately. I mean, life would go on if I suddenly didn't have it. But it sure does fill in the gaps. And uh, a lot of months it buys my, my medicine, which I take a lot of medicine just to freaking breathe. Yeah, let that train. A couple more hogs will be over. One more. Thank you. And, uh, so anyway, that's where I'm at. Like, oh, this guy's gonna over honk. Uh oh, there we go. Five honks? Give me a break. <coughs> so, what do you think? I have noticed since I started uh, doing almost exclusively videos about some aspect of my knife making, whether it's, you know, building my shop or something, that I have noticed a, uh, a real reduction in the amount of views I get per video. And uh, basically, the people that watch my videos now are people that have been my friends for all these years. And uh, I'm not really gaining that many new viewers. And uh, I guess the interest in knife making is just not there for people who don't make knives, which is perfectly acceptable and fine and understandable. And uh, But, you know, I have to go in the direction my life is leading me for the reasons I'm led there. And this is it. So uh, 
I've almost decided to change my channel to uh, BC Blades. So how about a little feedback? I'm sorry this took so long to get out, but I'm still sitting here thinking about it. And I haven't taken a single sip off of my coffee. So what do you think? Uh, I've been BC Truck since 2006. And according to my math, that's 65 years. <laughs> so don't trust my math. <laughs> This is why this is why I'm always uh, negative in my checking account. <laughs> uh, okay, back to work. I'm going to drink my coffee and start sharpening these knives. So uh, if you have any feedback about me changing my channel, or if you know anybody who has experienced a name change, or uh, you know, uh, I'd appreciate your uh, your input. Okay, have a good day, y'all. In case you were wondering, you probably weren't. But uh, this is how I ship them. I coat the blades in oil. This is high carbon steel. So uh, you got to keep them oiled or they will rust. High carbon steel rusts. Second, let me make sure I actually covered this. I didn't. Well, anyway, uh, I do that. I'm not. I'm gonna put a little more oil on it, and then I wrap it up in this plastic, and then I ship it in the sheath. And this will be in bubble wrap. I, uh, you know, I, I wrap them up pretty good to protect them from bouncing around. There you go. Okay, these are done, and Monday morning I will ship them out. Okay, we're fixing to make a. <clears throat> a B A O. That's big ass omelet. I'm not even going to tell you how many eggs I use, but I used up the last of the eggs because they've been around so long. And uh, this is leftover piece of steak that I cut up into small pieces. Some leftover potatoes. And uh, I'm putting, you know, we used to use Tony Saturies, but it is so hot. And uh, this stuff is good. This is just the right amount of hot. Is that a range? That's good stuff. All right, let me get this cooking. Well, I had to re rethink my omelet plan. This, it was, the, the egg was tearing up. and I knew there was no way I was going to be able to fold it. So I just left the steak and potatoes on the plate. And I laid my egg over it with a little bit of cheese in there. So, uh, let's give it a little taste. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep, that Zatarain is just the right amount of hot. Okay, let's eat.